Hello, we are looking at an alcohol fixed smear taken from a thyroid nodule and at the low power magnification we can see that there are some uh, relatively tight clusters of cells with a hint of microfollicular formations. At a higher magnification uh, we can see some interesting things happening in the nuclei and let's take a closer look. There is a nuclear pseudo inclusion here. Some of the nuclei are quite oval and we can appreciate nuclear grooves as well as small nucleoli. At this higher magnification view, again, as we focus up and down, we can see the degree of nuclear overlapping and crowding. Uh, we can appreciate nuclear grooves, very pale powdery chromatin. And here is another cluster with a nuclear pseudo inclusion. And finally, yet another crowded cluster, again with a well-formed nuclear pseudo-inclusion. Let's move on to have a look at the air-dried smear. At low power magnification, there is a similar repetitive appearance of small tight clusters and uh, with a suggestion of microfollicular formations. Some of them look as if they are in uh, the form of small elongated trabeculae. And again, we have the apparent nuclear crowding, but we do not have uh, syncytial sheets of cells or papillary formations. Here is a high magnification view showing the nuclear crowding and overlapping. And another group here, and you can actually appreciate a nuclear pseudo-inclusion. And again, another cluster with a microfollicular architecture. So what we have here is a follicular patterned uh, neoplasm with some nuclear features that are worrying for papillary thyroid carcinoma. So in this instance, because we do not have the full house features of a classical uh, papillary carcinoma such as large syncytial sheets, uh, papillary tissue fragments and fibrovascular cores, um, it is difficult to make an outright diagnosis of PTC because we know that there's a possibility of differential diagnosis including follicular variant PTC and also NIFT-P, non-invasive follicular thyroid neoplasm with papillary-like nuclear features. And because NIFT-P is an indolent tumor that um, should not be over-treated with total thyroidectomy, it would be prudent to hold back, make a cytologic diagnosis, either of follicular neoplasm with a mention of atypical nuclear features and the differential diagnosis of FVPTC and NIFT-P, or to call this suspicious for PTC, but also to make a note in the comment that FVPTC and NIFT-P are not excluded. And let's take a look at the histology. So we can see that this is actually a very well circumscribed nodule. Um, there is a partial thin fibrous capsule here, but there is no apparent capsule in this area. Nevertheless, it's still very well circumscribed. It looks very different from the surrounding thyroid parenchyma. We can see that it has a predominantly follicular architecture and even at this magnification uh, we can appreciate the nuclear pallor. And here is a higher magnification view to show you the nuclear features that are very similar to papillary thyroid carcinoma. So we have nuclear ovality, we have nuclear grooves, small nucleoli and fine powdery chromatin. So the final histologic diagnosis here is a NIFT-P. We have a very well circumscribed tumour which is partially encapsulated. There is no evidence of invasion into the thyroid parenchyma. It is overwhelmingly follicular in architecture and it does exhibit uh, the nuclear features of papillary thyroid carcinoma. The cytologic diagnosis of NIFT-P is very challenging. In fact, it is not possible to diagnose this in cytology because of the uh, necessary criteria of the exclusion of capsular or vascular invasion, similar to that uh, in follicular neoplasms. So most of the time, this will fall into the Bethesda 3 atypical category, AUS or PLUS, Bethesda 4 follicular neoplasm, or the Bethesda 5 suspicious for PTC categories. It is important to flag this up as a potential differential when being considered. And when do we consider this on cytology? Essentially, when we see a follicular patterned neoplasm, 
but with nuclear features that are worrying for papillary thyroid carcinoma, exactly as we saw in the FNA of this tumour.